Ready for United Methodist Church? We are here in our church library. Did you know we had a church library? Yes. Right here. Look, all the lots books. and lots of books. All the books. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we're talking about today, we're on day nine of our 28-day gratitude journey. And today's topic is there is no such thing as a self-made person. Ain't that the truth? Do you believe it? That's the question. I mean, as these people always now, these people, but, like, but, yeah. but our society tells us that we are self-made. And that's a question that I think we have to recognize is that that's kind of where we live. Mm -hmm. But as people of God, we're not. Right. Um, and what does that look like? Right. Every, when we just got done with All Saints Sunday as a recognition of the great cloud of witnesses that are a part of our story and yep. continue uh, to be part of our journey forward. I know it's one of the very special Sunday for me thinking about um, just the people that have just had a touch in sure. my life, whether they're here or not. Um, so it, it, the part of the practice for day nine is to list two of your greatest accomplishments mm -hmm. and to think about who helped make it happen. Mm -hmm. um, can you think of like an accomplishment like up, up front that you feel like? Probably. Nice? Well, I, I would say just ministering, just being, yeah. being able to hear the call to ministry mm -hmm. for me was a big deal because as if you know my story, which many of you do, I resisted it for mm -hmm. really hard, and but I had people who, in many ways, relentlessly just kept coming after me and saying, "You need to be a pastor. You need to be a pastor. You need to be a pastor." Mm -hmm. And they not only did that, but they like modeled that and they shaped that, mm -hmm. and they gave me the freedom. They when they did that, and maybe those are just unique, but they kept saying to me, "You have unique gifts for ministry," mm -hmm. and they empowered that those gifts mm -hmm. in me so that when I finally was fully ordained and everything I, I've been able to try to live those and nurture those and then try to do the same for, for other folks mm -hmm. so I'll, I I agree and I, but the greatest accomplishment that I can think of was my uh, finishing seminary with children uh, like two, two by the end yeah. of it like started with one and ended with two uh -huh. and somehow got through two years of Greek and Hebrew and <laughs> as much as I like to think that was me doing that um, that would not have been made possible without mm -hmm. my husband who supported me in that mm -hmm. full time school journey as well as my mother-in-law who helped me watch our kids sure. and like was a support system right. for us so yeah like so we the, had to learn three languages yeah. Greek, Hebrew and parenting <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still learning that third one. Still learning. <laughs> yeah, it never stops. Believe me. <laughs> but I mean, it is important because sometimes yeah. when you have that accomplishment, my name is the last it is on that diploma. But I wouldn't have gotten there That's without the people right. that encouraged and supported me and helped me pull all nighters and yep. everything else. So yeah. yeah. So who who? What are your greatest accomplishments? And who are the people that helped you get there? Or maybe your greatest accomplishment is yet to come. Mm -hmm. But if you do have someone, then why don't you drop a note to them or give them a call or send them an email or post something on Facebook or on Instagram mm -hmm. that says, I'm so thankful for this person yep. um, that, uh, that you were influenced by them. Yeah. And um, there is a, uh, one of the, one of the uh, podcasts that I listen to uh, is, uh, it ends with, there's a whole another podcast that popped off of it called my unsung hero mm -hmm. and it's for it's just very brief stories of people who have said there were people who i don't maybe i don't even know who they were but mm -hmm. they did something that literally changed my life and uh, it's those folks uh, that remind us that we cannot live this life alone and that uh, that's the huge part about church mm -hmm. is that we are in this together and that's why we share it together and so i am grateful for that and i'm grateful for all of those saints uh, who have helped uh, me and continue to shape mm -hmm. me and, and you uh, into who we are called to be. Can I share one of those? Sure. With you? There's a lady that I remember when I was um, 12 years old at the church I grew up in. Her name was Miss B. Mm -hmm. I remember her working in the nursery. Um, I remember she had this huge beehive <laughs> hairdo. I'm sure she's not even alive anymore. She wouldn't even remember me if I say anything, but I remember Miss B. I remember she was there. I remember she took care of my siblings. I remember that she was just one of those faithful disciples uh -huh. that always showed up. And I mod I want to model being like Miss B, even mm -hmm. though I, I would... You don't have the hair for it. Ah, I don't have the hair for it. <laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> Anyway, all right, we'll see you next time as we continue this journey and day 10 of our gratitude series. Bye. Take care.